how you guys doing today? Uh, before I even get started on what I'm talking about, because I'm dealing with what is the benefits of world government, but before I even get started, I want to give you an invitation that Christ Jesus had sent out to the whole human family, and that is that he said, Except a man, and this is the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 5. To accept a man is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Okay, water and spirit, okay? And so we find in Acts 2.38, it says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. There is your water and spirit. Acts 4 and 12 said, Neither is our salvation under any other name, whereby we must be saved. You find Acts 2.38. And then also is the applying of the blood, because it's got the remission of sins also. It said, Revelation 1 and 5, He loved us and washed us from our sins in His own blood. Okay, that is how you enter into the government or the kingdom of God. Understand what Christ was talking about. He had offered us a kingdom, which means the governance of God, man being under the governance of, of God versus man being under the governance, uh, governance of man. So I was thinking, I was looking at this and I was listening to this thing about what we're paying the government for. And this is my train of thought. It's... It's so, uh, but I'm looking at what is the benefit of world government? What are we paying for? See, every one of us are taxed every day, but what is, what is that added to your life? And so I begin to realize that we are paying this government, but we, when we're taxing, we're paying them for their living. They're not really looking at our welfare. They're looking at us and they're saying, you know, what is it going to take society? When you look at society as a whole, you got food, water and clothing and housing, you know, those things that sustain your life. OK, and so they're looking at it. And so you look at us looking at this guy, some Israeli guy, but whatever the case is, they begin to talk about it. And I realized, what are we paying for? What are we paying for in this government? You pay taxes, but how does that benefit you? Basically, you're building an act of army, and that army is to subjugate you. So when you look at world government, what, the, what are they really after? They're after the subjugation of man and controlling him. And the people you pay it into is, is these rich people above you. It does, how does that benefit your life? You ever think about that? How does that benefit? I'm paying taxes, but where is the benefit? You know, as time goes, sometimes you go get social service or whatever. But when you really look at what you're paying, you're paying to keep the politician and his agenda alive as well as make his life comfortable. He's making millions off you. We're paying for his active army. Why do we need an active army? Tell me, when you look at the world, why do we really need an active army? That is for subjugation of people. And, then, and as the government's joined together, there really is no need for that. But they usually are going to take or usurp somebody else's stuff. They come in your country, and they go subjugate the people and take the resources. So I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, so this is man governance. This is his plan of governing. Okay, his plan of governing is to subjugate the people. So you pay them for what? You're paying them the, what they, what the benefits of a job. They're not paying your rent. They're not paying your mortgage. They're not feeding you. You're doing these things yourself. So why are we paying into such a government system? That is the government of man. Why do they need the boogeyman in wars? Because that keep you off balance because you're constantly paying to build their army. And eventually they're going to subjugate you into a one world order. And the powers of B, that the people who's going to govern over you is a totalitarian system of government. You're going to be subject to their ways of life. This is what this is all about. And this is what I'm tripping off because it's a class of civilization in which you got to understand that there's a governance of God. God takes their people. You don't have to pay in a system to live in God's system. He has a way of us working and living in, a, in a, a good quality of life. These people don't even offer a good quality of life. They're trying to figure out how, what, how, what our poverty looks like. Okay, so how much do we need? He's going to be in poverty. So what is his, he's going to benefit from? What he's going to get and what he's not going to get? They're governing our, our darkness. That's really what it is. They're governing our lives that where it is, it's our misery. You know, if you're a poor person, then what, 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 what things do you have access to? And so around the world, everybody is paying into a system that will only be paying the rich people to build their armies and to subjugate you. This is what this is all. This is about that one more order stuff. America has signed over 
uh, it's, it's, it's sovereign right. And now they become a part of the new world order and being a part of the new world order. What is going on with them? They have, have lost all sovereign rights. And now they're under a conglomeration or a government system, which they must let Armenians in because these are the police for the new world order. They're active only. Asia is where it all started. That digital dollar eventually is going to turn into the mark of the beast. Okay. And then everybody's going to be subject to that mark of the beast. So you can't buy or sell except he that had the mark of the beast, Revelation 13. And so you have to be subjugated to these people and to these, this ruling power. But what will be the benefit? There will be no benefits in that. You know, the digital dollar, and then from the digital dollar, you're going into the market, chip in your hand, and then you become a slave to a totalitarian system of government. And I was looking at it and said, so what are we paying for? What are we getting into? So they run our economic system. How do they go out and make sure that your life, you have a quality of life? They don't. You pay to have to sustain their quality of life. And now they're making their move to actually subjugate the whole world to a dictatorship. This is what they're doing. And I was looking at it and said, wow. So this is they we're moving into a dictatorship. So now there are people like you say, like if you are a medical worker or whatever like that. You know, if you don't show up for work, you can be subject to be in prison. How is that? Because how does a person get a job that they have to show up to work for no matter what? If they're sick, hey, 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 miss it too many days. I don't care what you say. You guys are going to go to jail. Play with us. We'll show you. And so here it is. <laughs> yeah. He said, here it is. They're doing this. So we're solely being taken into this one more order. America is scheduled to have the digital dollar established this year. And so at that point, those treaties that Biden has signed at night with the Chinese, and with um, with the Chinese, there is a one more order covenant. And he came back and he felt he finished consolidating it. So America is no longer America. America is now an entity of the new world order. This is what's happening here. And so here it is. They don't have no, how they, how do they benefit you? This is my thought. How are they benefiting you? You're paying them, but you're paying them for what? Where's the benefits that we receive? They, they, they don't pay for your housing, they're paying for your clothing, they're paying for your food, but yet you're paying to keep their active armly and their boots on your back. People, wake up and understand what I'm saying. I really hope you guys understand that this new world order thing is in effect. And it's even in effect America. They got Armenian troops in our borders. And then people are being told in these uh, medical fields and other places and police stations that if you don't show up for work, you can be subject to go to jail. So when, do, when have we became slaves? They're doing this stuff subtly. And while you guys are sleeping, walking around, you're thinking you're not thinking about the quality of life you have. They're controlling that and they're giving you, making you pay for them to build an active army for they can handle you at any time. People, wake up. And though for Christ's kingdom, Christ's kingdom, God, you ain't going to have all this crap to deal with. But one thing is to enter into Christ's kingdom, as he told you, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He's talking about the governance of God on oh man, okay? The kingdom of God. And then you have, except a man is born of water, spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Where we find the entrance of the kingdom of God in Acts 2.38, where the spiritual kingdom of God gave birth. And it's Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of God. So what we're seeing here is man governance versus God's governance. And man governance, they have you paying for benefits you're not even receiving. And what is they what is their benefit? They they keep a boogeyman, can't gotta keep a war going on because guess what? They keep you subjugated to them. We gotta pay this tax and pay that tax. But where is that increasing your quality of life? I think you got to try baptism in Jesus' name and see the better betterness of life. And when we get over to the kingdom of God or the moon millennial, how we won't be subject to have to pay somebody to uh, to take care of the quality of life. So you're paying these people and they're supposed to be watching over your quality of life. Only thing quality of life is improving is your politician, not yours. You guys have a good evening. Once again, this is uh, Joseph. Well, anyway, it's not important. The King Joseph of Israel. Okay. And we're going to turn back over to Israel. We have our own nation, and um, we're a nation that we have, we have serving the God of gods, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we will not be subject to the law of man. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about the UN, all that. UN Charter of Man, they're talking about being subject to man and governing by the laws of man. And only people get paid when you pay your tax, you pay anything to the people. You know who's living good? The politician, not you people. Have a great evening.